Ange, results, performances of late, uh, everything's going according to plan, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a it's been a good start to the new year for us. Um, uh, three, three wins and two draws in the last five, so it's um, it's been positive, and obviously he's played some some decent teams in there as well. So um, uh, we're, we're pleased with with how it's gone, but obviously lots of uh, lots of room for improvement too, um, which is pleasing. I think there's a lot of uh, lots of ways that we can get better, and uh, you know that, that's always encouraging. You've seen a lot of campaigns for the club. How how do you rate this one? What, what's uh, what's good about this, and you know what needs to improve? I think it's, it's obviously winning games is obviously always good, and um, I think we're playing a nice attacking brand of football and uh, sort of combining that with possession, but obviously not not for possession's sake. So it's um, <clears throat> it's just a case of trying to keep improving that. Um, I think last sort of five six games, I think defensively we've been a lot lot more solid. Um, we didn't score as many as we'd like, but I think that's kind of always a trade off sometimes of. You know, defensive security, and you lose a bit of your attacking potency. So I think it's just trying to combine that two and getting that nice, that nice balance of um of of the two, which I think we're we're sort of getting to a place where we are now. So um, it's just to sort of keep in, in, keep improving those those things. Uh, you've got another milestone coming up, which you'll be pleased to know. I'm not going to uh, talk about uh, today, but I, I'd say more than anything, you've played with so many different players, um, and you've seen a lot of transfer windows where. Players leave the club uh, and players move on, and everyone has to readapt. How, how damaging do you think? Damaging, probably the wrong choice of words, but how difficult a week has it been with the departure of players like Ethan Robson and Matt O'Reilly, Peter Kioso going back to Luton, his parent club? It's a difficult week, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, um, you can't really sugarcoat it and or spin it. It's you know to lose four four players. Obviously, Josh gone back as well. Um, to Doncaster, I think he's gone to do now, hasn't he? Um, so yeah, it's, it's been disappointing. I think um, all key players in the team as well. Um, I think when you add that to to Max going back as well a couple of weeks ago as well, it's um, you know it, it's it's always the the dangers I suppose of, of of the loan the loan system is that you always sort of you're on that knife edge of if they do well then it can be a bad thing sometimes because obviously the parent club would would like him back and. Um, um, there's not much you can do about it, unfortunately. But um, <clears throat> within an England, any any situation, there's always an opportunity, and um, you know, with them going, it, it creates an opportunity for uh, some of the boys to step up. And obviously, uh, we've got Connor through the door as well, a new signing, and, and um, I'll give him a chance to to come and show us how how, how good he is. So it's kind of a you know, as frustrating as what it is, it's it's football, it's it's the revolving door, and it's it's something that we're used to. And, and maybe some of those players who weren't figuring week, week in week out were were second choice or, or you know behind the players that would generally be picked in, in the starting eleven. It gives them actually a little boost. It says, right, I can do it now. Maybe that they, they lacked a bit of belief in themselves, but now they've got the opportunity to push on, like you said. Yeah, I think you know we always talk about it being a squad game, and so. You know, when you lose players, especially um, might not be the starting eleven, but they're all as important. I know sometimes it doesn't feel that way because they're not they're not starting games. But in terms of pushing people in training and and the culture we're trying to produce is, you know, they're all important to us. Um, but for the boys that now have got the nod, it's, it's it's game time, and that's what all players are after. It's you know, it's your chance to get out on the pitch. You know, you can you can do great in training and you know do all the right things, but ultimately it's. It's minutes on the pitch, and it, you know it will give some of these lads an opportunity to be on the pitch, and um, and it's up to them now to go and show show how good they are. Uh, a, a real opportunity at the weekend, but uh, I, I guess there's an air of caution because uh, you come up against sides like Doncaster. Well, actually, Doncaster themselves before, and uh, and fallen foul of, of of thinking that actually you know playing really well at the moment, a home game against a side like that, you know, there's a real opportunity. It's a uh, caution, I suppose. Yeah, they're um, they're a lot better team than than where their their position lies, and they've they've had they brought in three or four players in the in the window, and obviously two of them that we know in in Kieran and Josh, so um, we never know what good players they are. So you know they're trying to they're trying to improve, and they brought players in, and um, and they're fighting for their lives, and um, you know it, no game's easy, and they they bring their own challenges, but um, you know at the same time we we're in a really good run of form. You know we're at home, and uh, you know we'd like to think that. If we turn up and, and play as well as we can and, and sort of uh, do all the right things, that you know we'll, we'll be on the right side of the result. Cheers, Dave. Not something.
that. So it feels a little bit like last January, doesn't it, with um, several key players going and, and, you know, I imagine a few new fresh faces coming in um, at some point during this month. Um, that seemed to work out last year, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it worked out right last year. Um, I think, yeah, this this year, sort of, I think last year was a sort of rebalancing of the books and, um, you know, we were trying to sort of shape the squad. I think this year we've, we've been quite settled and um, probably in the boys that have gone, we probably not wanted them to go as well, which is always is a little bit different. But, um, you know, the, the loans we can't do much about and obviously Matty's, it's just a fantastic move for him and... and um, and so, you know, he had that buyout clause anyway, which was always going to be hard to, to stop. But, you know, it's such a brilliant move and, um, you know, I think it goes with everyone's best wishes and um, excited for what, what what lies ahead for him. Yeah, it's sort of hard to stand in the way of, of such a massive move, isn't it, for him? Yeah, it's, it's kind of a, it's a dream move. You know, they're, a, they're almost like an institution, aren't they, Celtic? You know, it's more than a football club. They're, you know, one of the great European football clubs. So it's, it's, it's a great move for me and, um, you know, I think the whole squad and, Team and I think club are delighted for him to get such a such a, such a sort of prestigious move that um, that he's probably deserved. Really, he's been um, he's been one of the star star players for for the last year. I think a lot's made of the last game against Doncaster. It feels like everybody will go back to look at that as thinking, right, okay, that's that's a game where lessons needed to be learned. And you know, do, do you feel the lessons have been learned for, uh, since that game at the Keepman Stadium? Yeah, I think so. I think um, you know, we was really disappointed with how that game went. I think. You know, we spoke about it before the game and um, the first 20 we sort of didn't implement our game plan and, and got ourselves in a bit of trouble and so um, since then that's not happened again um, you know, we made you know, positive strides but you always have to be wary against against any team you know, they, all, they all have their own threats and um, you know, we'll have to be on guard um, to what they try and do and um, you know, make sure that there's sort of no mistakes happen And just finally a new goalkeeper for you lining up behind you um... Jamie Cumming obviously made a, a great start to life last season. How's he, how's he been settling in this week? Yeah, it's been good. Um, I think it's nice to have a sort of four weeks training with him, really. Um, he sort of arrived um, quite late last week, so we didn't really have much time to sort of train with him. So um, it's been good to sort of get him in and settled. Um, you know, he looks a good top class goalkeeper. He's a um, you know, good goalkeeper, good of his feet as well, which sort of fits what we're trying to do. And um, yeah, I think it'd be a real, a real positive addition to, to the team. Heart in your mouth though, when that header was clawed away in that in stoppage time. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it was, it was my man, so uh, <laughs> so I did a, a glance him back. But um, yeah, it was it was a good save, and um, um, it was sort of one of their real only chances. But um, you know, I'm glad that he um, he managed to claw it away.